They come in a rainbow of colors and a range of flavors from sugar sweet to nuclear. We're talking about peppers this morning. The July-August issue of Martha Stewart Living tells you all about them and how to use them. Martha's here this morning with a little taste of what you'll find in there, and the how to use them part is the really important thing. The fun part. The wrong pepper for the wrong thing can be ugly. You know, Martha, I had never had roasted peppers until I moved to Philadelphia, and this is a treat. Well, it's easy to roast a pepper, and I think uh, to show the techniques is very important because so many recipes are calling for roasted peppers. Um, this is a, um, a wonderful poblano pepper. Um, it has a real good taste, and to uh, make our stuffed poblano peppers, to roast we want to roast them. We want to get that hard skin. Most peppers have a really hard skin on them. And um, the sweet bell peppers can be roasted beautifully and used in summer salads. And the more um, spicy, more tasty peppers uh, can also be roasted. Now, I'm doing it now, right over. Does it over. take the spice out of the pepper? If you oh, roast no. It? Oh, no. It takes <laughs> the hard dangerous. skin off. That's now, notice, it. see, they're smoking a little bit. Mm -hmm. This one's almost roasted. The skin is turning black. Use tongs. I've turned the um, this grate uh, that it's over the, um, the the flame upside down oh, so that smart. see this way they'll kind of roll uh -huh. off this way they're in a little bit of um, indentation here and, and it's, you've it got works. it on about a medium to low well flame. yeah you can put it on high too it's as high as I can get it here it's so nice you want to do it over well if it's real hot watch out put your ventilation uh, ventilation on because that it can be very acrid and hurt you you know make you start to cough mm -hmm. if it's a very strong pepper so see how nicely uh, blackened they're getting mm -hmm. now once they're blackened and I can just, I'll just turn this off so that we don't get asphyxiated <laughs> here. Um, here we have our, I want to just put the stuffing back over here. Um, here is your pepper. Now, there's safety in handling hot peppers. Always wear a pair of surgeon's gloves. It's, um, it's a real... It gets in your skin? The well, it gets in pepper? your skin. There's something called capsaicin that um, is a chemical that is in the veins of the pepper. And if you get that, like a um, scotch bonnet pepper or one of these really, really hot Thai peppers or uh, serrano peppers, if that gets in your eyes or in your mouth, and people can, who wear contact lenses Yeah, you can be in really great pain. Once it's, once it's roasted, you can put it in a paper bag mm -hmm. like this to sweat it. You can put it in a plastic baggie to sweat it. Or what I do is just, once it comes off the flame, I just wrap it in a paper towel like that. Then after it's sweated, I unwrap it. What do you it. mean by sweated? Well, it you want the skin it loosens the skin away mm -hmm. from the flesh okay. of the pepper. And now you just peel off the skin. See how it comes off? And easier too with yeah. gloves. And if you use a paper toweling, you can just pull it off with the paper toweling. I do this with the bell peppers. Never, never run it under running water. A lot of recipes say run it under water, but what you're doing is taking away all that amazing roasted flavor when you when you um, and you get them soggy when you run them under water. That's the easy sloppy just way. Just let them sweat a little. Yeah, but this is the neatest way on the paper toweling because then everything's right in the paper toweling, and you just wrap it up and throw it away. You make that look so easy. Yeah, it is easy. It's very easy. See, it's nice and clean uh -huh. now, no skin. Then now, it all stayed intact. For stuffing, all you want to do is slit down one side of the pepper with your paring knife. Just open it up, and you want to take those seeds out, because those are very <laughs> hot, too. Um, and it, depending on the kind of pepper. But in the stores, every they're selling great peppers. The, the Thai chili peppers are there. You're ready to stuff. Okay. That's Let great. me just show you these peppers. Okay. Thai chili, little now, tiny, how hot are they? tiny, very. The smaller, the hotter. Is there a no? Roll? Not necessarily. A serrano, very hot. This is. Um, forgot the name of this one already. This is the poblano. It's in a magazine, you can read it. This is the poblano. <laughs> That's the which one we is just so roasted. beautiful. A Hungarian wax pepper, That's which beautiful. is great for stuffing too, nice but color. a little hot. This very, very, very hot. And uh, I just was in Jamaica, and uh, these are Scotch bonnets. They are so, so if somebody hot. says, just take a bite out of this. The jalapenos, They're which really are the friend. Mexican pepper that mm. everybody loves, and not so hot, not as hot as that one. <laughs> and then a nice red chili pepper. So um, peppers are called peppers or chili. Here is the quinoa, which is a full protein grain. It is not so starchy as protein. It is great. Now this is the stuffing. It's the quinoa that's uh, been um, boiled. It is a little bit of carrot in there. We add one cup of chopped walnuts. We add goat cheese. And we add um, some wonderful oregano. That's your stuffing. And we have, um, you mix that all up and you stuff your peppers. We have them already stuffed here and I wanna put this in the oven. Once they're stuffed, you just put them in the oven, and we have some here. Let me get them out. 
Now this, we're talking about a very healthy dish too. I didn't see, other than the nuts, I Not don't really only. see any uh, fat in there. No, don't worry about it. Goat cheese has a, has a little no, bit of yeah. fat. But look oh, how, by the way. look how beautiful. Look how nice. And then you add this ancho sauce. Now ancho sauce is made from dried peppers that have been roasted on this um, little metal pan. These are roasting, you turn these over with your, this is called a comal and you roast them when they're dried because you want to get them soft and that brings out the, but smell, smell, that's the important thing. You can start to smell oh, them. Oh, that's nice. When you smell them just dried, they don't, they don't smell like anything. You crinkle up the peppers into some chicken stock once they're toasted. Still with the gloves on. I'm not gonna take yeah. <laughs> I get this stuff in my eyes all the time. <laughs> and you have to rinse your eyes with water. If it's in your mouth, a little bit of yogurt will help. And uh, if it's on your skin, a little ammonia. Just, that's after that's cooked for 20 minutes in the water, mm -hmm. then you uh, put it into your um, blender and you cook it with a little bit of cumin and a little bit of salt, a half a teaspoon of each. Pretty and then blend it up and here's our sauce. There's so much to do. I want to, I want to show you everything. Oh, we want to see the finished okay. product but too. Here is the sauce. That looks it fabulous. It is fantastic. You put a little of this fantastic ancho. This is also great on, on uh, chicken. Barbecue now, would, chicken. They, would you serve this as a main course, Martha? This is a, would you this make is a first course, or a, if you're going to do the barbecue chicken, do the barbecue chicken and serve one of these per person. And I just want to show Look. everything yep. with peppers. It's Pepper all beautiful. Pepperonata, that is so good with salsa, the salsa. My favorite. Salsa out of tomatilla. That's so pretty. And Peter Piper's pickled peppers right, right here. Mangoes, everything. It's and it's, all. It, it, oh, and don't forget the confetti bread. <laughs> <laughs> you can always bake with peppers to it. It's all delicious. In the and magazine. you have a piece of this with some of that ancho sauce and tell me what you think. Okay. We'll be back with more this morning. Stay Thank with you, us. Jane.